take a look at this. I don't even need to introduce this car. I mean, when you say sports car, the first thing that comes to mind is this, an E46 BMW M3. And not only just an E46, this is the last year of production, the 2006, with the competition package. You really don't get much better than this. It's probably what most people aspire to be able to afford, especially new, over $100,000 new. Uh, and even today, I mean, these cars are fetching astronomical prices um, in the resale market. The one that we're looking at today, like I said, is a 2006 M3. It's got competition package, rear park distance control, navigation, telephone, the rear sunshade, pretty much everything. You're looking at a carbon Schwartz metallic paint with black interior, SMG transmission, and really in fantastic condition. And overall, uh, it's gorgeous. I mean, I love this car. We're gonna be taking a look at it as we do with every video. We're gonna show you the inside. We're gonna go around the outside. We're gonna spend a little bit more time with this car than we normally do. Uh, and we're gonna show you pretty much everything that you would wanna know about what the inside of this 2006 BMW M3 is like so that if you're looking to purchase one or you've just always been curious to see exactly what this car has we're going to show it to you so let's go in and take a look on the inside of this car there you go the interior we're going to go into it now now if you haven't been inside an e46 m3 um, you're going to be in for quite a treat today so we're gonna be taking a look at all of this, all the features, all the buttons, all the gizmos, everything that this car has. Uh, I'd like to take it for a test drive, but really, I don't, I don't think I'm worthy enough for it. So uh, taking a look at the instrument cluster on the left, you've got your gas tank, uh, speedometer, tachometer, oil, which is super important, for, especially for a car like this. Uh, and then you've got the, uh, your coolant and engine temperature sensor on the right there. You've got your board computer, as well as the, uh, on the right there, a little bit different from obviously an automatic car it shows you the smg status uh, in terms of what gear you're in there and performance steering wheel you've got one button and i am told that that button turns on pretty much race mode with this competition package so you put that button on and you buckle yourselves in you've got your flappy paddles right there we're going to take a look at the left side of the car automatic headlights your rear fog light and your instrument uh, cluster dimmer switch your mirror Harman Kardon speakers there at the bottom where my foot is you can see your eject for the trunk as well as your hood latch now, I don't think I'm gonna really be able to show you the sides of the, uh, the indicator stocks here but the exact same thing is on the uh, E39 and E38 uh, in this you've got the board computer your parking lights and turn signals and then on this side just through there you've got your your windshield wipers there and there's no automatic which is probably for the best you really don't need uh, an automatic um, wiper for this car so we're going to just turn on the accessory so you can see again back on the cluster here the uh, car there shows you everything about it you know your lights the car's not running so all the lights are going to be on just to test it as well as the not the high level instrument cluster that you got on the E38, uh, but it does show you if your doors are open, the trunks open, lights are out, things like that on the display there. This comes with the Mark IV navigation system. This is the final year for the non-iDrive BMW navigation computers. So as you can see, it has a, a warning message to tell you, uh, obviously not to be a bad boy while you're driving. Uh, and then in terms of the navigation, it's a little bit different than what you've got on the older cars uh, this is really modern i mean i know it's not as new as the iDrive system especially the most recent nbt ones but my like my god this is almost miles ahead of what's in the e39 uh, up to 2002 as well as the e38 like that looks pretty nice right there so we're not going to go into too too much of the features but same thing the board computer is all the same you've got your settings your gps navigation um, but it looks a hell of a lot better than it does on the older cars um, up top, vent control, 
switch between a little bit hot, a little bit cold. And then moving further down, you've got your uh, your HVAC controls here. So your modes, whether you're shooting air up into the top for your windshield, uh, up your face, down your feet, and then the temperature, fan speed settings, defrost, air conditioning, and the rear defroster. This is your setting for automatic recirculation or manually on for recirculation, as well as the automatic climate control function. We've got heated seats. We've got the uh, traction control system here. This, I am pretty sure, is your backup system, your park distance control button, your run flat uh, slash tire pressure monitor, your rear automatic, or electric rather, sunshade, sport mode, and then your passenger heated seat there. Now in terms of the SMG, like I said, I'm not gonna be playing with it, but these buttons down here control essentially the the computer program, your, your transmission control unit, in order to go from basically everyday driving to pure track performance. So you can flip through those, um, basically to set up into the different programs to be able to go uh, into whatever mode you want. You've got your automatic windows there, hazard switch and door locks there, and then you've got a cup holder uh, and another one behind it. And then on the other side, again, you've got your door. There's no uh, switch there. It's just a blank key. And then you've got the Harman Kardon speaker on the side there. Shooting upwards might be a little hard to see just because of the, the angle that we're at. But again, with pretty much all the cars, you've got your map lights, your interior lighting, and then you can open up the sunroof, one click, and then pretty sure those are the microphones. I got the same one on my car, and to be honest, I don't even know what it's for. Glove box on the side. You have a little cubby compartment. You can put things like, uh, you know, cigarette. It's your ashtray. You can use it for whatever you want. Doors have mop parkets in the side. And then you've got just a little armrest there with, again, a little place for you to be able to put your coins in storage there. So we're going to be taking a look at the back seat and show you, uh, again, not really a whole lot in the coupe, but we'll just show you kind of what's going on back there and uh, give you an idea of what the exterior of the car looks like. Backseat of the E46 is certainly not for large people, <laughs> but uh, you've certainly got space there if uh, you know, you've got four people that you want to put in there. You have an armrest in the middle, your child anchors at the bottom there. Uh, you have a little cubby in the center and then also the backs of the chairs have some little netting uh, and then some map lights there. And to get in and out, you've just got a switch there. And since we couldn't see it from the inside, we're gonna take a look at the seat here. With this, you've got driver memory, three memory programs. You've got your back and bottom control. You have lumbar support. And then just on the side here is the active um, component for the car. Again, with the performance package or with the competition package, you certainly get the top line when it comes to everything that this car could have. Um, and I mean, looking at it, from what I know about the M3, there's nothing that this car is missing. Unless you went up to like the full CSL and wanted to spend an astronomical amount of money on it. So there's the interior again of this 2006 BMW M3. So if we take a look around the back, as you see, you've got the rear parking sensors. That is the factory competition exhaust on the back of that. We work around the side here. It's huge, big rims there. Side of the car, got the M3 badge on the side. Upgraded front bumper with lower lip. Everything's pretty much original. That lip is the only modification. The rest of the car is completely stock, exactly the way that BMW intended it to be when it came off the assembly line. And you can see it there, just a gorgeous car.
Well, there you have it. Um, our complete review here uh, and tour of the 2006 BMW M3 with competition package. I think that if you're looking to purchase a car like this, this is the example you want, right? Final year production, fully loaded, immaculately maintained, all the service records you need. When I bought my car, that's what I looked for. You know, it wasn't the best engine in terms of the maximum you could get out of it, uh, but it had everything that you could possibly want. And that's what this car's got as well. Uh, and it's just been such a treat to be able to take a look at it today. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it and being able to actually sit in it and see this car. Um, for me, I think it's been seven years, six years since the last time I've sat in an E46 M3. Uh, and it certainly brought back those memories of being able to, to just rip it up and down the street, um, obviously on a closed course to be able to, to get the power out of that car. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love making it. If you have any questions about this car, please let me know. I will do my best to be able to answer them for you. Uh, if you have any comments uh, about some of the other videos that we've done, or maybe you'd like to see something specific, let us know as well. You can subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Twitter, at Perpetual Radio, or you can uh, follow our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash perpetual radio. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.